Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to level up your weapons on Cold War. This is one of the new faster ways to do this and I've got to say, it works extremely well. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a method that doesn't involve any glitches. Um, so if you guys don't want to do glitches, then this is the video for you. This is a 100% legit method and it works extremely well. It's also very, very good for camos as well. And basically what you guys want to do is come over to here. So once you enter the first portal, go ahead to your left gate, come to the back of this crate. And as you guys can see, whenever you sit on this, the zombies will simply just pile up right in front of you. One of the reasons this is such a good method is because it's so easy. You guys can chill, you guys can do whatever you guys want to, you guys could probably do this whilst you're eating, you could probably do this whilst you're watching Netflix, it's literally so so easy. All you have to do is sit here on this crate and the zombies will just pile up right in front of you. Now they are going to get on top of the crate so obviously you're not in a glitch here, they will come and still hit you but they do take a couple of seconds to actually get on top of the crate so in this time frame, whilst they're climbing on top of the frame, you guys are going to be able to just kill them. The mimics also take a couple of seconds to climb up as well, so you don't really have to worry about those. However, the wranglers, they don't really climb up, they just stand there and shoot you. So if you do see a mimic or a wrangler, my best advice for you guys is to just pop your ring of fire and you guys can deal with them really, really easily. As you guys can see, here comes a little wrangler, pop my ring of fire, shoot him a little bit, and he's gone. It's literally incredibly easy, you guys don't even have to try. You're going to be getting camos, you're going to be getting weapon XP, you're going to be getting levels, and you're going to be flying through any challenge you guys want to. You could probably do the social distancing challenge with this method as well. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay, subscribe for more content, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.